good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Whenever you're watching this, my name's Dan, and this channel is Dan's Metal and Rock Channel. Now that one of my shorts I done the other day was about my favourite Judas Priest album. Now I know there's going to be a lot of people out there that are going to say many, many things about their, their favourite Judas Priest album. Um, but I always think with these things that, that when you're younger, it's where you actually come into the actual band. So like the first record you heard from a band when you were like a teenager or whatever, that's where you kind of come in. So if they've got a back catalogue, you kind of start from this album because you don't know the back catalogue, right? So this is kind of where I come into Judas Priest and I come into Judas Priest at Painkiller. And this is my favourite Judas Priest album. I mean, it's a killer album. And let's face it, the album before, Ram It Down, was not. Apart from Blood Red Skies. That's a bloody good song. But anyway, yes, so there's going to be people out there saying Screaming for Vengeance or, or British Steel or Turbo or, you know, there's a few albums that are also bloody good. But for me, the place in my heart is Painkiller because... It was just there, I'll be on my paper round and I'll be listening to this for like weeks and weeks and weeks on end. So this is my favourite Judas Priest album. Now it's just amazing. Um, it starts off with one of the like best opening tracks on an album ever. It just smacks you straight away with the song Painkiller. And we all know what that song is. It's just fucking rip-roaring Judas Priest in your face. His vocals up high. Fantastic. Then we've got Hell Patrol. Brilliant. Oh, guns. Oh, guns blazing. That's next. Leather Rebel after that. Metal Meltdown after that. Now then, a lot of people will say about this album, some of the lyrics are a little bit cheesy and stuff like that. Do I care? No, I do not. Side two then, Nightcrawler. Oh, what a song. Nightcrawler. Oh, just brilliant. Dark and brooding and fantastic. Between the Hammer and the Anvil. That's next. Unbelievable song. Touch of Evil. Now then, this is... Probably my favourite album, my favourite song on the album, sorry. It is just the way it builds and the, like, the groove to it and the, I don't know, it's like a, the vampire type of sexual type of groove that brings you, you know, it's just great. Uh, Battle Hymn is next, which is awesome. And One Shot of Glory is the last song on the album. Again, there's going to be people that say it's it's a bit cheesy and whatnot. And, I mean, this cover, I mean, look at it. It is just fucking awesome here. It's awesome. And yeah, you get all the lyrics on, on there as well. So, But, yeah, I mean, it's... It's my favourite. It's where I come into Priest. I mean, it was after this, I kind of... Um, I listened to Painkiller and it was like, wow, I've got to go into this band, you know. And I kind of went back, uh, Screaming for Vengeance, British Steel. Um, uh, ram it down, unfortunately. Uh, but they released this. They released this the same time as... Or around the same time, anyway, if I remember rightly, of uh, Iron Maiden releasing, uh, they released No Prayer for the Dying, which, uh, no. Compared to this, sorry, Maiden, not a patch, mate. But yeah, you know, that's why 
It's my favourite. The patch is on my battle vest. I've got the patch on my battle vest. It's just amazing. So, there it is, guys. That's the reason why a painkiller is my favourite Judas Priest album. Uh, you could stick in your comments below what your favourite album is of Judas Priest. Um, that's the video, guys. If you like what you see, please subscribe. If you're interested in um, uh, Finn Lizzy, Live and Dangerous, that's another video I've done. My Iron Maiden Top 10, that's another video I've done. So go and check them out on my channel. And um, I'll see you soon, guys. Take care. Keep rocking.